All right, hello, my fellow investors. It's the Intelligent Investor here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about AMC. Now, before we start the video, please use the link in the description down below to sign up with Acorns. If you guys sign up with Acorns, you will have a chance to win a stock that is Procter & Gamble. Um, now, that stock giveaway is going to be this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Also, we hit 5,000 subscribers, so I'm also going to be doing another stock giveaway, which is Apple. So if you're subscribed, you'll be entered, and we'll be doing the drawing this weekend also. Now, also, once we hit 6,000 subscribers, um, we're going to do another stock giveaway. Then we hit 7,000. We'll be doing another one until we hit 10,000. Once we hit 10,000, I'm probably going to be doing uh, Google, um, Tesla, or Facebook stock giveaway. So subscribe and stay tuned for that as well now starting off with amc now a lot of people are talking bad about amc and i understand why some people got burned they lost money and all that stuff but people who are waiting i mean bless you you know it's like it's just the long waiting game people thought that it was going to blow up yesterday i kind of explained on yesterday's video why it's not um so it's just something you guys have to understand and be patient about too many people are talking smack about it they're like see it's not squeezing it's not squeezing guys this is not a thing that happens within days now that the hedge funds know what they're doing and what they're dealing with they're trying to avoid a huge squeeze so it's going to be a long process that's something you have to understand that it's not going to be something that happens within a week or a month it can happen Within weeks, it could happen within a month, but it can happen within the next year as well. Um, these hedge funds are paying a lot of interest um, on the shortages that they have to cover. So um, they're losing money right now. So no matter what, we're still winning. If you're in this to make money or you know to mess with the hedge funds, then at the end, we're still doing it. Um, they've lost a lot of money and they're still losing money daily. So that's something that is a victory towards our side. Also, um, people, again, like they keep saying, oh, it's just um, sell the stock, like just accept your losses and all that stuff. It's like, no, um, we're not that stupid. People that have been in the market or people that are saying that actually are people that don't have experience in the market. So I see them in the comments down below and keep saying that they keep saying, oh, you guys are dumb, wasting your time. You already lost. Just accept it. It's like, no, you know, you don't lose until you sell. And I'm pretty sure it's those people that are you know, that don't know what they're doing in the market. They thought they were just going to jump in, make quick money, but they saw their money come down and they sold, you know, it's those people. Um, you have to know that this is a long-term play. Now, even though this stock, let's say it does not squeeze, it still has potential to actually move up. Now, this is still a $20, $25 play within the next about year or two years. So yes, it's a long wait, but at the end, you won't lose your money. OK, and that's something you have to pay attention to. Um, a lot of people are down a lot of money, even though you bought it like, at, let's say, eighteen dollars. This stock can still hit 20. OK, it can still easily hit 20. And especially if they get bought up by AM, I mean, by um, by Disney, Netflix or Amazon. Um, this can shoot up the stock like really much like a lot. Um, <laughs> so that's just one thing that you have to have in mind. Um theaters are starting to open up a lot of things are starting to happen for amc as a company and they do have five billion dollars in debt right now but that's not a lot compared to what the turnaround can be so that's something you have to also have in mind and i like i said you know there's a lot of people bagging it um i'm down like everybody else but i'm holding and i don't accept losses i really don't lose a lot of money in the market because i don't sell at the low point okay and as you see, everything has a pattern. You know, all my stocks that I buy, I'm pretty sure with. Um, my portfolio is down. As you saw in my previous videos, I was up to 7,000 plus. And now I'm down, but I don't care. Because a company like Apple drops down, it'll eventually come back up. Uh, it was same thing with Coke, same thing with AT&T. EXBC was up to close to $20, and now it's down, but it's still going to go up. It's lost momentum, so it's coming down. ACIC went up today. Um, APXT has been down because of the news. So, I mean, everything is just a waiting game. I'm going to make my profits, but it's a waiting game. So that's something you have to be understanding when you're in the market. You're not going to make quick money every day. There's times where you're going to be down a lot, but that same stock eventually is going to go back up. Okay. And that's one thing you have to know. Same thing when I owned Coke. Coke dropped down back in March to $38. That's that was insane for me because I bought them at 60, 
okay? I bought it at 60, it dropped down all the way down to $38. But instead of selling and panicking, I doubled my profit. I mean, I doubled my shares and it jumped back to 50. So my average was around $45 and I'm still up now. And that's one thing you guys have to understand that that's what happens. If you're smart about it and you know what the company's gonna do, then you feel good about it and you know no matter what happens, if the stock comes down, then that's a buying opportunity and eventually it'll go back up and if you wanna sell, you can sell and you'll sell for a profit, okay? And that's just the thing I wanna talk about because again, I've been seeing a lot of people just diss people about having AMC and stuff and at the end, like I said, the AMC holders will have the last laugh because this stock is gonna to have to go up. You know, it's looking positive for the future outcome. And like I said, even though it doesn't hit a squeeze, which we still feel like it might, um, the numbers are not lying to us. And unless the hedge funds do something corrupt, which they can do because they have that whole establishment behind them, okay, they can actually, you know, get out of this for in some way. The stock might go up to like maybe $8 if that happens or something like that. But at the end, this stock is still potentially going to be up, okay? Um, within a year, a year and a half or two, if it has to take that long, at the end, I'm not accepting my losses. It's going to go up eventually. And then once my profit hits and I make my profits, then I'll be happy because I don't lose money. I stick it till I see my profits go up, okay? Same thing with GameStop. Um, it's been down... People, you know, get bored and it's like, that's the problem with people sometimes, you know, they get bored. They're like, oh, we'll accept our losses and then we'll just put that money somewhere else. And, you know, it's it's kind of dumb, you know, that's a bad way of investing and trading. Um, if, if you, you know, if you don't accept losses, okay, wait them out, they'll come up, make your profit and then, you know, jump up to the next thing. So that's why we say only invest what you're willing to lose because, like that, you know, you don't have to worry about a stock, you know, imploding. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, guys. If you guys like the video, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe so we can hit 6,000 subscribers so we can give away more free stocks. So thank you guys for everything. Um, comment down below so we can have conversations about it and yeah let's just have fun with all this because at the end we want to have fun we want to make money and this is the best way to make money so um we're gonna go through a journey also check out my other videos guys because i do have more <laughs> videos that it does not just include amc and stuff like that i do have some great videos about certain stocks that you know are very good and you can check those out too you know there are stocks that people don't talk about kind of like acic um, that video I feel was pretty good. You could have jumped into it before it blew up. I told you guys when I bought into it and you know, I feel like you, ch you should check out those videos as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.